Hi, welcome to High Road to You, and this is Mark Stouffer coming at you for another lesson in life. And that is something that um, just always kind of bothered me, you know, when I looked at the men in my life that just seemed to always live in this box. And I, I think about my grandfather, you know, when he came home, he was on a ship, and obviously the, the quarters in the ship are pretty small. And uh, when you're traveling around the world delivering oil as a merchant marine, he, um, you know, was probably, you know, in very small quarters. But when he came home, it was like, you know, just in front of a TV and in a house where the TV was constantly on. And, um, you know, it just seemed to me like extremely boring. And as a, as a kid, I would be responsible for cleaning the entire house. My grandmother liked the noise of a vacuum. I had uh, the responsibility of, of vacuuming the floor in a five bedroom house. And, and you know, it's a shop back, you know, a little small, you know, inch and a half hose. And I'd always ask, can I use the other vacuums that, you know, the push vacuums? She said, no, I like the pattern it leaves. And then she had this cat that was real hairy and, and it was hard to get the hair out of the carpet. And it was just torture. And uh, I, the, the, the park was like two blocks away and my friends would come over and ask if, they could, if I could play. And she'd say, no, he was busy. And um, I spent a large portion of my, my life serving her, you know, stuff, moving her stuff around. And um, it was just toxic, you know, truly toxic because, you know, I was like 10 years old when I started to really, you know, man up and say, you know, how many sets of China do you need? And um, it was her way of avoiding all the, the toxic chaos that was happening. So when my grandfather away was gone on a ship, that they were shoplifting and insurance scams and identity theft and all that stuff. And so, um, but it was just this constant accumulation of, of things and it never really made sense to me at all. So, but what I saw was when the men were around, it was just like they were in this box, you know, they didn't venture out and they didn't, you know, see the world, if you will. Their, their, their universe was extremely small. And I think about 7 million men in their prime that are literally spending 2,000 hours a year in front of a flat screen. And I think about them in their box, you know, Jordan Peterson says they're bottom basement dwelling losers. And, you know, that, that's a little harsh, I would say, but the bottom line is, you know, when I think about how easy it is to separate yourself from that, at whatever age, whatever, wherever you're at in life, is that, you know, Nutrition is critically important, but you feed your body, feed your mind. Then physical and social activity every day is critical. With online, you know, platforms like meetup.com, uh, Creative Mornings, you know, you can navigate into these circles of people that are actively involved in doing healthy things all the time. It's walking, hiking, cycling, uh, surfing, fishing, you know, uh, even if it's just getting together to learn about something, you know, uh, startup, you know, startup companies or speaking in public, you know, Toastmasters, another international program is phenomenal. So I'd say, you know, it's not difficult at all to get out of the box and experience life on a different level. And here's the other thing too. If you go out there, you can always come back and sit in front of the screen, right? Or you could take your phone with you wherever you go and, you know, find yourself, you know, locked in on something that, you know, hopefully is healthy, I suppose, you know. But, you know, as I kind of navigated my life and, and see men that, you know, generally are married and unhappy and in sexless marriages and, you know, and they're miserable. And yet they, they sit in that box, you know. My father-in-law, you know, he'd work all day, come home and sit in his chair in front of a TV and it's a little tiny room. And um, I just, it was so incredibly disheartening. Um, and I, I just swore to myself that I would never find myself in that box. And so I've expanded my universe and what's allowed me to do that is, you know, I'm part of a travel group. And the conversations that happen and, and the, the stories that are shared is people are experiencing the world, you know, in safe environments and they're, you know, it's almost like a, you're, uh, with a tour guide who's been there, done that, but they just happen to be people that are part of this travel group that say, hey, if you're ever gonna to go to China, if you're gonna to go to Europe, if you're gonna ever do these things, you know, I can tell you, you know, how to avoid, you know, things that, that might be out there that you should be concerned about. 
Um, that includes Mexico. I mean, I've been in Mexico so much, I can navigate the, the roads and the, the towns and you know where people should go, more or less for surf, surf camp experiences. But even if it wasn't a surf camp experience, they can still go to these towns that are safe and that um, don't have a history of concern. Um, my sister lives in Switzerland, and so she is like the tour guide of all tour guides, and she would be the, an amazing liaison. So I'm bringing this to your attention because I, I'm just saying that it's easy to get out of the box. It's not difficult to get out of the box. And if you find yourself, you know, having difficulty getting up out of bed because you're anxious and depressed and, you know, you, you don't have direction, it's not difficult to start looking into these things and making it a daily habit to, it's nutrition, it's physical and social activity every day. And um, I don't care where you're at in, in your life. If you're breathing, you have air in your lungs, you can experience life um, outside of the box. So I hope this reaches your heart and your mind and resonates with you. And if you know anybody that is in this state in this box that you think that this would encourage and inspire, um, please forward it to them and um, live a life with passion and drive and resiliency. With that, I wish you well.